In this video, I will be showing you how you can download and install LSPDFR in your GTA 5 game. This will include my character's pre-installed file, and also this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial with all the right settings. I'll show you how to install the best trainer, which will give you all the possibilities to change or spawn anything in the game. I'll walk you through on how to request a callout and how to respond to it, and how to pull someone over, and lastly, I'll show you how you can sync and back up your character's data for LSPDFR. To make this all work, we're going to go ahead and download a few files. I will leave a link in the description that will lead you towards my Discord server. After you verify yourself, make sure to go to the channel called LSPDFR Tutorial. Uh, we also have an installation service for anyone that's lazy. You can find it right here and you can pick the right package for you. Uh, let's get back to that channel. And let's go ahead and visit the links. If you don't want to join Discord, that's totally fine. As you can see, the links are right here and you can just type them over. Let's go ahead and visit the links. and download this one right here the pet okay and then we're gonna click on download here download this file click on agree and click on manual install let's go to the second link click download and it will download it and the last one there you go. Now let's get our main directory game folder and the files we just downloaded. On my left side we have our game directory folder and on the right side the files we downloaded. Uh, I'm using this on a clean install of GTA. Nothing installed. So let's go ahead and extract the first folder we downloaded. After it is extracted you're going to select everything and just drag and drop it in the main directory folder. There you go, it's that easy. Just select everything and drag and drop it. Now let's open up our this folder right here, the LSPDFR folder, double click on it and go to this exe file. Double click on it. It's gonna all pop up this menu, hit next, hit show license. Click OK. Accept and click on do it for me and that's installed successfully now let's close up this folder let's go to the second file we downloaded double click on it go to the bin folder select these two files that i select and drag and drop them in the gta main directory folder then we're gonna go to the third link we downloaded and that's gonna be the trainer menu just select these two files that i select and drag and drop them in the main directory folder then you can close this down and the last thing that we're going to install is the pet you're going to go to this folder right here to the characters folder and here you have two files already we're going to select these two files also and drag and drop them right here that's how easy it is now we can actually go ahead and start up the game you're going to use from now on this to start up LSPDFR. That's how you start up the game. Double click on it. You're gonna click on yes to unblock. Make sure if you want to send this to your yeah, pin to start or add favorites. Uh, first thing we're gonna change in here is we're gonna change this one to a six. Plugins is good for now. Let's go to game settings. Let's go ahead and back up the game version. You wanna do this because if there's a new update in the game, then you cannot play it until these files get updated. And by backing it up, you still have the opportunity to play. Now we can hit save and launch and the game will go ahead and start up. And if you get the notification called unaccepted files found it, which I just received, don't worry about that. Just hit OK and try again. The first time you'll probably get that. And now the game is starting. And in the down, 
right corner you can also see the rage plugin hook so let's uh let the game load up game is loaded up let's go outside and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the f4 menu is working which it is as you can see and f3 menu is a simple trainer as you can see that's also working this we installed so you can go into god mode the eagle goes in god mode we can change the time make it slow motion normal game speed as you can see this is all working and we can do much much more i highly recommend you doing a quick walkthrough of everything you can change weather weather get all weapons and much much more you use this by hitting f3 on your keyboard and you need your right uh keypad on your keyboard the right one the smaller numbers um and you can uh, hit eight to go up two to go down five to enter five to enter again and now i have all the weapons as you can see okay let's get back to lspdfr we're gonna hit escape go to lspdfr go to nearest police station here we're gonna press e to go inside Oh, I still have the sniper. Awesome. Here we're going to select go on duty. It's going to ask us to select and create a character. We already installed one, so you don't have to do that manually. Let's go ahead and select Mike Lowry, the white version. There you go. And hit use. Doesn't really look like him though, but uh, that's okay. If anyone has, by the way, a better character, let me know. Share the files with me, please. As you can see, we're right away on duty and we're uh, writing off tickets. So that's pretty awesome. And we have our police vehicle. So we're pretty much complete now. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead and save our character. So let's say you already made a character now instead of using mine. That's totally fine. What you also want to do is you want to go ahead and sync your character so you can always keep it when you update pre-install the speed of our after you hit sync you will log in let's hit enter enter again to log in you will be taken here where you can actually log in and then it will be synced or you can uh, sign in with discord if you prefer that or this right here let's let it load up and here you can choose the option to yes sync my account and now it is synced so that's pretty awesome let's get back to the game let's get back out of this menu and let's do a quick walkthrough of how you can pull someone over for instance make sure you turn on your sirens you can also hit the m menu and here you can go to police radio oh. Here we get a call out you can press y on your keyboard to respond and we have a robbery in progress so let's go ahead and uh go there right away you will see it on your mini map where you need to go so we're arriving as you can see it must be here oh, it's that door right there you can go ahead and point your gun or whatever let's just for this tutorial Take care of it quickly. So this is the basic things you can do in the... Oh shit, what the hell? So that's how easy it is. You can uh, request call outs, request a call here. Oh, choose a... Uh, So we can also cancel. Uh, cancel. What was cancel? Uh, hitting. Cancel. I actually forgot that one. Oh, it's already ended. Um, you need to press Y to start. If you don't press it, then uh, it won't get it. 
Let's get back in the vehicle and let's also perform a traffic stop quickly. Oh, this is a bit, uh... You can hit shift on your keyboard, the left shift, and it will tell you right there. We have singled, signaled for the person to pull over. You can also hit E. You see actually everything and it will tell you exactly how or what. So then we can go next to the driver and begin to speak with him by hitting E. Then you can hit enter, ask for ID. And that's how you pull someone over. So this is the basic installation of course of, uh, of the game. Uh, from here on out you can play it and install much much more plugins, callouts, scripts and much more. So if you have any questions about that, leave them in the comment section. Also, keep an eye for my channel. I will update the newer callouts. I have a lot of them. Also, I have an installation service which will provide you with 40 and more callouts, plugins, at least 100 missions in game for LSPDFR. So that's about it for this tutorial. Also, we can uh, give them a warning or a citation. And then uh, we can walk back in our vehicle. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me some feedback. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.